Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, rosacea, eczema, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head over to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the websites. You can also sign up to join the bright side Ben team off our websites as well. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and earn thank you checks associated with helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're entrepreneurially minded and you want to work out of your home, make your own hours, be your own boss, you want to check out the longevity business opportunity for a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. If you want to speak with a real live person, it's 866-735-2470. You can also order products by calling 866-735-2470 as well. Or you can go to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our award-winning Truth Transdermal C Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world, skin care products in the world, by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. All our Truth products, Truth Treatment products are up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Never any fillers, waxes, preservatives, fragrances, water, silicon, oil, emulsifiers, surfactants, and any of our Truth Treatment products. You shouldn't have to pay for ingredients that you're not using. You shouldn't have to pay for ingredients that your skin doesn't want or doesn't need. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. And any of our Truth Treatment products are all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got nobody on hold, so now's the time to get on board. Try to call in early. We'll get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. We're talking about heart disease, cardiovascular health, the cardiovascular system and its major component, the muscular fist size organ called the heart. We spent a lot of time talking about the heart and for good reason. Heart disease, like all chronic diseases, have reached epidemic proportion, proportions and the first step to dealing with any illness is to understand it. The first step to dealing with any illness is to understand how the body works. Because we don't understand how the body works, because we are biologically illiterate, because we're biologically ignorant, and it's not just us. Our doctors are biochemically ignorant. Doctors are clinical 
people. They're, they study clinical chemistry. There's a very important distinction between clinical chemistry and biochemistry. Clinical chemistry is the chemistry of the clinic. It's the chemistry of the doctor's office. It's the chemistry of test scores. Biochemistry is the chemistry of biology. It's the chemistry of the body. When we are sick, we are biochemically sick, not clinically sick, not clinical chemistry sick. And there's nothing that clinical chemistry can do to make us better. Clinical chemistry is the chemistry of test scores. And yes, you can take drugs to lower your test scores. You can change your test scores by going to the doctor's office and following doctor's protocols. But health is not about clinical chemistry. It's about biochemistry and our, biochemi our biochemical ignorance and the biochemical ignorance of our, our medical professionals and our healthcare prof care professionals does not serve us. Biology and biochemistry need to be understood at least a little bit if we're going to understand how to run our bodies, if we're going to understand how to program our bodies, and that's why this program is so important. This is a program where we don't talk about clinical chemistry. We talk about biochemistry. We talk about the biology of the body, how the body works. And if we are not as healthy as we would like to be, if we're not as healthy as we need to be, we are biochemically unhealthy, not clinically chemical, not clinical chemically unhealthy. Clinic, if that's the right word, clinico-chemically unhealthy. We're biochemically unhealthy. In the case of the heart, there are numerous misunderstandings about the structure as well as the diseases that affect it, starting first and foremost with the absolute boneheaded notion that you could prevent heart disease or reverse heart disease by eating less cholesterol, by eating less saturated fat, by eating, by uh, throwing out your egg yolks and just eating the egg whites, by not eating butter and eating margarine. This, this, uh, it's utter stupidity that you can suppress your body's production of cholesterol with a drug and somehow be better off for it. In the world of healthcare and the world of healthcare professionals, there are certain red flags that reveal biochemical boneheadedness, and one of them is the idea that you can statin your way back to health. Now, we can be forgiven as lay people for having this belief because we're pounded with it via commercials and Dr. Oz and mainstream medicine. So as individuals, if we don't understand biochemistry, biochemistry and biology, we can be forgiven. But your doctor cannot be forgiven for that. If he's following this medical meme that you can take a statin drug and be better off for it, he needs to go back to biochemi biochemistry 101. It doesn't matter how many PhDs you have or how many degrees you have. If a medical professional tells a patient not to eat egg yolks, or puts a patient on a statin drug to improve heart health, that's a medical professional that simply does not understand the cause, what exactly the cause of heart cardiovascular disease is. Cholesterol levels may be increased. Yes, that's true. As we said before, cholesterol is a building substance, and when we, when we trick the body into building, mostly by eating lots of sugar, cholesterol production will go up. But that does not follow that by suppressing cholesterol production, we're going to be better off for it. There's so many aspects to the heart that need to be addressed, starting with the electrical energy of the heart. In the last program, we were talking about how the heart is an energetic system, an electrically energetic system. It's constantly pulsing out electrical waves of energy. And along with the brain and the intestine, it's considered to be one of the three major wave generators in the body. They call them oscillators. An oscillator is a wave generator. There's three major oscillators in the body, the brain, the intestine, and the heart. And of the three major major biological oscillators, wave generators, electrical, electromagnetic wave generators, the heart produces the most powerful waves, much greater than the intestine or the brain, thousands of times really, uh, more energetic than the, than the brain, which is the next highest, bio, uh, next most intense biological oscillator. These pulsations, these electrical pulsations that come out of the heart affect every one of our 100 trillion cells, and they can be detected several feet away from the body, which means they're affecting other people's cells as well. The electrical energy that's emanating out of our heart affects everything around us. Not only does it affect our internal milieu, it affects our electrical milieu. And these electrical generations, these electromagnetic pulses that come out of the heart are a function of how the heart beats. And this is incredibly important because we have a lot of control. We have a lot of control over how the heart beats and ultimately over these electrical pulsations and ultimately over how these pulsations affect all the cells of our body. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. We 
are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining in. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. You can also purchase Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, including Cardio FX and the Healthy Start Pack and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Sweeties, Ultimate Nightly Essence. All the fine Longevity products are up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. If you're an entrepreneur, if you want to get your products at the wholesale price, if you want to enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, you can sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business, or you can also call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for more information, or if you want to sign up, or if you want to purchase products, 866-735-2470. Our number today on the side, we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about heart health, if you're on statin drugs and, or a statin drug and you want to wean yourself off of it, if you have cardiovascular health issues like high blood pressure or angina or any kind of heart health problems, any kind of circulatory problem, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls in our next segment, as we always do on the Bright Side. We're talking about the electromagnetic nature of the heart. The heart generates an electromagnetic field. It can be detected outside of the body. This implies that the electromagnetics of our heart affect everything around us, including other people, because the electromagnetics of our heart affect cells, affect our cells. They will also affect other people's cells. The electromagnetic nature of the heart coordinates, synchronizes all of the electromagnetic, all of the electromagnetic energy in the body. This electromagnetic field or the electromagnetic pulses in in the heart are a function of how the heart beats as well as the timing and uh, the timing between those beats, the timing between the pulsations, the timing between the heartbeat is affected by what's occurring externally. What's, ex- what's occurring in our external environment as well as our internal environment. This is called heart rate variability. Heart rate variability is how the heart beats, how uh, the timing between the heart beats, and it affects, us, it, it affects us inside and it affects us outside. And it is a function of not only the, uh, the milieu, the internal milieu of the body in terms of toxicity, in terms of uh, sugar, in terms of drugs, in terms of inflammation, in terms of oxygenation, but it's also, this heart rate variability is also an effect of our thoughts and our feelings, which means that how we think and how we feel is going to affect our heart rate and our heart rate variability, which means how we think and how we feel is going to affect every cell and every organ and every structure in our body. According to the heart math people, we've been talking about heart math now for a few days, for a couple of weeks actually, get the heart math solution if you're dealing with heart disease. You know anybody who's dealing with heart disease, if you want to wean yourself off a statin drug, if your boneheaded medical professional told you you have to be on a statin drug, get the heart math solution. According to the heart math people, the rhythms of our brain are in direct relationship with the rhythms of our heart. It goes both ways. Our heart rhythms affect our brain rhythms and our brain rhythms affect our heart rhythms, which means that when we're thinking or feeling love and gratitude and peace and contentment, we are improving our cardiovascular functioning. Likewise, or up, up, in contrast, when we're angry, when we're sad, when we're depressed, our brain rhythms are going to affect our heart rhythms negatively. You can think of the electrical energy that's emanating from the heart as similar to a radio signal. Except instead of news or music or information that comes through radio waves, the information that's carried from our heart waves tells our organs and our structures what's going on. And the information that's carried on our heart waves acts to synchronize all of the electrical phenomena in the body. You can think of the heart as like, a, and, and the pulsations that come out of the heart as a master conductor that creates a kind of music that emanates in the form of electrical energy. When the heart's electrical energy is smooth and coherent, the electrical energy in the body will be smooth and coherent. When the electrical energy coming out of the heart is jagged and incoherent, which is the result of things like negative thoughts or toxicity or a lack of oxygen, 
Likewise, the structures in the organs, the electrical energy of the structures in the organs of our body, our liver and our intestines and our spleen and our lungs will also be jagged and incoherent. So this coherence and incoherence of the heart affects the coherence and incoherence of every single structure, every single tissue, every single cell in the body. And it's affected by toxicity, by uh, drugs, by smoking, by sugar, by food additives, by a lack of oxygen. And according to uh, the folks at HeartMath, it's also affected by our emotional state. A person's emotional state is communicated throughout the body via the heart's electromagnetic field. The beating rhythms, the pulses of the heart can dramatically affect how we experience different emotions or how our body experiences different emotions. Negative emotions are associated with an erratic, disordered, incoherent pattern of heart rhythms. And in contrast, positive emotions, love and appreciation and gratitude are associated with a smooth, ordered, coherent pattern in the heart's rhythmic activities. What does that tell us? It tells us that if there is any kind of electrical disturbance inside the body, if there's electrical disturbances inside the heart, we have control of it, or at least partially have control of it, with our thoughts and with our feelings. Love and appreciation create a smooth and ordered heart rhythm pattern. This is so important if you're dealing with fibrillations. This is so important if you're dealing with angina. This is so important if you're dealing with premature ventricular contractions, PVCs. We have control here. You don't have to be medicalized. You don't have to be drugged out. And you certainly don't have to have your heart electrocuted with an ablation. You don't have to have your heart chemically ablated. These are the tools of the trade of your, car of your cardiologist, but we don't have to be subject to it. The only reason we are is because we get so scared and we get so desperate. And this fear and this desperation is a direct result of a lack of understanding how this whole thing works. So these changes in how the heart beats and uh, the heartbeat variability, as it's known as, result, results in a corresponding change in the structure of the electrical field that comes out of the heart. And here's the cool part. When we experience positive emotions, the heart's rhythms exhibit a mathematically detectable organized pattern and the electrical field that comes out of the heart becomes more organized. This is manifested as an increased efficiency of all the organs of the body. This is manifested as increased harmony in thoughts and increased harmony in the activity and the interactions of the body systems. And this way of functioning, this coherence is associated with things like internal, uh, a reduction in internal mental dialogue, reduced perceptions of stress, a better, uh, a better ability to handle stress, increased emotional balance no matter what's occurring in our lives, enhanced mental clarity, better judgment, better discernment, better cognitive performance, better memory. This is very important for folks who are dealing with brain health issues, with depression, with Alzheimer's disease, with cognitive impairment. The bottom line is this, the coherence of the heart's rhythms play a major role in the functioning of the body as well as the mind. Do not underestimate it. And if your cardiologist isn't telling you about this, get him the book, The Heart Mass Solution. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you are on a prescription drug, as I've said so many times, your number one health challenge, your number one health goal, if you are on a prescription drug chronically, long-term, so-called for the rest of your life, I'm going to be on this drug the rest of my life. Your number one health challenge, health goal should be to figure out how to wean yourself off of that drug. You don't necessarily want to stop taking the drug right away, and you always want to let your doctor know what you're doing. If you're being cared for by a doctor, it is very, very important as well as respectful to tell your doctor what you're doing. You don't have to follow your doctor's orders. Your doctor's not your daddy. You don't have to do everything your doctor tells you, but it's just a question of respect 
of telling, uh, telling your doctor what you plan on doing and what you want to do. Your doctor is paid by you. He's not, uh, you're his boss. He's not your boss. Nonetheless, it's all, uh, only respectful to inform your doctor of what your plans are and what your intents are. And if you are on a prescription drug long term, your number one health challenge and health goal should be to figure out how to wean yourself off of it by changing your life, by changing how you live your life, especially by adding in a nutritional supplement program and changing the way you eat. Speaking of changing the way you eat, this is from the journal Science Translational Medicine, specifically designed fasting diet lowers risks for major diseases. Phase three trial of a fasting-like diet shows the greatest benefit for at-risk patients. This is what happened to 71 adults who were placed on a three on three cycles of a low-calorie quote fasting mimicking diet unquote. Now I assume that means a ketogenic diet. They haven't they don't say that in this article here, but the ketogenic diet is a fasting mimicking diet. It's a way to accomplish and achieve the same biochemical benefits that are linked to fasting without having to totally fast. So they put these 71 adults on a on a uh, water only fat uh, water only fasting mimicking diet that's where they drank water and they ingested between 750 and 1100 calories a day and what they found was people lost weight their blood pressure dropped their insulin became more sensitive in general they were healthier and they also had a lower cancer risk simply by controlling the way they eat this is not airy fairy folks if you want to pick one physiologic, physical strategy to employ in order to be healthy, change the way you eat, starting with eating less food. Of course, getting on a nutritional supplement program always makes it easier to reduce your caloric intake because so many times we ingest calories because our body is crying out for nutrition. This is why people tend to lose weight when they start a nutritional supplement program. When you get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you'll notice you're not as hungry. It's one of the un uh, uh, hidden benefits of getting on a nutritional supplement program. One of the hidden benefits of getting on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is you're not going to be as hungry. And you're going to notice that you're losing weight without even trying. From Washington University School of Medicine, protein-rich diet may help soothe an inflamed gut, inflamed intestine. Researchers from Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis have found that a certain tolerance-promoting immune cell, that is an anti-inflammatory cell, was linked to the amino acid tryptophan. Now, we've been talking a lot about tryptophan lately, about tryptophan for diabetics, try tryptophan for gut health. Tryptophan is an absolutely vital amino acid. It's found in high uh, protein foods, particularly in dairy foods. Most people know about tryptophan for helping, uh, helping you sleep, helping you fall asleep, or a lot of people know about tryptophan for helping you fall asleep. But tryptophan is also very, very important building amino acid. It's found in whey protein. It's found in dairy foods. It's found in most high protein foods. You can also supplement with straight tryptophan, or you can use something called 5-HTP, which gets converted into, into tryptophan. Tryptophan also plays a major role in the production of brain healthy neurotransmitters, brain healthy, uh, brain chemical, brain health chemicals, specifically serotonin. All right, one more, and then we'll get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. We do have lines open for you. This is from the journal Scientific Reports on Early Humans Menu, Mammoth and Plenty of Raw Vegetables, a recent study published in the journal Scientific Reports. Researchers found that they were able to refute the theory that the diet of Homo sapiens was, diff was more flexible than that of Neanderthals. Just like Neanderthals, as it turned out, turns out, our ancestors, Homo sapien ancestors, ate meat and they ate vegetables, raw vegetables. A lot of times you'll hear vegetarians, people, vegans, people who are, are, are pro-vegetarians, healthcare professionals like Dr. Neil Barnard say, humans are not supposed to eat meat. We are vegetarians. We're fruititarians. Gabriel Cousins, Dr. Gabriel Cousins, who, whose work I kind of like, actually, he says that early human beings were fruit eaters. Wrong. Early human beings were meat eaters. In fact, er, early human beings were everything eaters. We are omnivores. Human beings are opportunistic eaters. We eat, we, from an evolutionary perspective, we eat whatever is there. And that includes mammoth and saber-toothed tiger and vegetables and foraged grains or foraged, um, uh, for foraged plant materials. The human intestine and the human mouth and the human teeth are supposed to eat everything. They're designed to eat whatever's there. And certainly, most people will find that if they get enough protein, they're not snacking as much. Now, you can get protein from meat, but you can also get protein from supplements. I love whey protein supplements. 
You can also use hemp seed powder supplements. That's another great one. Brazil nut powder supplements, coconut powder, sup coconut powder protein supplements. Making sure you're getting about half a gram to a gram of protein per pound of body weight is a good place to be if you're working out, if you're recovering from surgery, if you're elderly, it becomes extra important that you do a little bit of protein, but, or you do more protein. But if you are going to increase your protein intake, it's very important that you use that protein. If you're just eating protein without using it, that protein will get turned into fat. First, it will get turned into sugar. It'll throw off your blood sugar. And then the next thing that will happen is it will get turned into fat. You'll end up storing it. So you can't just eat protein or increase your protein intake without actually utilizing that protein. And that's why working out a little bit, resistance training, for example, is so important, especially if you're going to be increasing your protein intake. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to, and we do have lines open for you. Let's go to Don in Atlanta. Good morning, Don. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. How are you doing this morning? Doing good. What's up, man? Good. Uh, I was wondering if you could help me understand hypokalemia and its connection to uh, carbohydrates. Mm. and attack. Yes, hypokalemia, low right. potassium. The major reason right. why potassium levels drop is because of adrenal stress. When the adrenal glands are cranking out stress hormones, specifically something called aldosterone, which we don't talk about anywhere near enough, in my opinion, what will end up happening is you'll hold on to sodium and you'll dump out potassium. This accounts for the mythology around low-salt diets. Cardiologists, medical professionals will tell you that high-salt uh, intake is associated with, with high blood pressure and cardiovascular problems. Wrong. Uh, the reason they think that is because sodium levels tend to be higher when people are suffering from diseases. Why? Because when the adrenal glands are kicking in, which they will when we're under uh, stress, psychological, mental, or physiologic stress, including inflammatory stress or disease stress, will tend to hold on to sodium. This is a evolutionarily evolutionary mechanism that allows us to have more sodium to do work. But when we our sodium goes up, our potassium drops. Hypokalemia, by the way, is low potassium levels and the number one reason is adrenal stress. Now you asked about carbohydrates and the answer to your question is the relationship between ingestion of fast burning sugars and excessive adrenal activity. Hang on, Don, I'll explain when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Don in Atlanta. Let me get Don back on the phone here. You there, Don? I am here. Okay, so uh, just uh, what I was saying before the break, there's a relationship between potassium and sodium. When sodium levels go up, potassium will drop. Uh, the body will dump out potassium when the adrenal glands are jacked up which is like occurs for most of us, psychological issues, emotional issues, physiologic issues will all cause adrenal stress. Sugar is a major stressor in the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands play a role in how well the intestine processes sugar. Uh, so if you're eating a lot of sugar, you're going to be putting a burden on the adrenal glands. If you're eating a lot of sugar, you may go into low blood sugar states. This will further stress out the adrenal glands. When the adrenal glands are stressed out, we tend to lose potassium. The more carbs you're eating, the more adrenal stress you're going to have. The more adrenal stress you have, the lower your potassium levels and the higher your sodium levels. So that's the relationship between sugar intake as well as adrenal distress or adrenal stress and hypokalemia, low potassium in the blood. What you want to do is you want to calm the body down. Number one, deep breathing techniques. If you have any kind of inflammatory health issues, you want to resolve those as best as you can. And you want to mitigate or reduce your intake, minimize your intake of fast burning carbohydrates. You can also use things like chromium and vanadium and niacin and thiamine vitamin B1, vitamin B3, um, selenium and sulfur and arginine and taurine. These are all nutrients that help the body process 
processed sugar, and they will reduce the stress on the adrenal glands. You can also use zinc and vitamin C, which strengthen the adrenal glands. And then you can also use, or make sure you're eating lots of veggies and veggie juices. Vegetables tend to be good sources of potassium, depending on the soils, of course, uh, and depending on how fresh your vegetables are and how you process your vegetables. Typically, vegetables are going to be your best sources of potassium. You can also use uh, fake salts. I forgot they got these fake salt products that are like salt, but they uh, they use potassium instead of sodium. You can use those as well. Uh, that can bump up your potassium levels. If worse comes to worse, there are prescription forms of potassium, KCL, uh, K-Chlor, and, and, and uh, other medications like that that will raise your potassium levels. But I would be working mostly on my adrenal glands, uh, especially if you, if you know that you have some kind of inflammatory health challenge or if you're under some kind of psychological or emotional duress. And of course, restricting or limiting your intake of sugars is always a good idea, but particularly if you're dealing with adrenal issues or hypokalemia. Does that help you there, Don? Oh, that helps a lot. A okay, lot. buddy. Good deal. Good Thanks. to talk to you, man. Have a great day. Thanks for calling. Appreciate you it. You too. All right, man. All right, let's move to uh, Minnesota and say good morning to Kathy. How you doing, Kathy? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. Thanks hey. for taking my call. Hey, hey. Um, I recently had a miscarriage at 11 weeks and a couple of days. Okay. And I am just wondering if you can give me some advice on yes. what to do after. Yes, yes. You see, this is the wisdom of the body. Miscarriages and infertility represent the wisdom of the body. When the body is not able to make a baby or when the body is not able to carry a baby, you will miscarry or you will be infertile. The body has this sort of knowing on whether it's strong enough to have a baby, on whether it is calm enough to have a baby or to make a baby. So infertility and miscarriages need to be first and foremost regarded as a sign of a body in duress. The hormone estrogen is, a, uh, in addition to being a, um, a hormone that's responsible for growing a baby, is also a stress hormone. So elevated levels of estrogen are actually more accurately improperly metabolized estrogen. Estrogen gets broken down into metabolites, into breakdown products, and then it's eliminated. If we're not breaking down estrogen correctly, these breakdown products, these metabolites will build up. If we're not eliminating estrogen appropriately, the, the metabolites of estrogen will build up as well. Cortisol, stress hormone, likewise. If cortisol levels are up, it's gonna be difficult to make a baby or to carry a baby. So the first thing you wanna do is calm the body down. Now, I always like, uh, I always suggest calming the body down using breathing techniques, reducing sugar intake, eliminating problem foods, all of the things we talk about here in the program. There's also emotional and psychological and mental aspects to calming the body down and those those need to be addressed also. Then there are nutrients, or, or I should say supplements that you can intake that will help calm the body down. Progesterone and pregnenolone are both uh, wonderful supplements that will balance out estrogen. So for anybody who's got infertility issues, or for you, Kathy, for miscarriages, make sure you're using pregnenolone and progesterone cream. Progesterone will, have a, will give you an added benefit of being pro-gestation. It will help you actually conceive a baby. So progesterone cream or progesterone, uh, oral progesterone supplements, those can be helpful for you. Vitamin A and vitamin E can also be helpful for you. Make sure you're working on digestive health using things like probiotics, good bacteria, fiber every day. Now you might want to try some glutamine supplements, which can also be helpful for the digestive system, eliminating problem foods, etc. Now, if you have a history of miscarriages, or if you had a miscarriage, a shortcut to, uh, to, to knowing how to target or, or how to uh, uh, make the body stronger so it can carry a baby is look for other symptoms. Look for digestive problems and then address those. Look for high, uh, low blood sugar problems or, or sugar cravings and address that using the sweeties and selenium and sulfur and zinc as we talked about with our last caller. And then calming the body down using slow, deep breathing techniques, activating the parasympathetic nervous system as much as possible, the relaxation nervous system as much as possible, massages, hot water, uh, a psychological techniques or emotional techniques for relaxing the body and of course getting on a good nutritional supplement program an all around good nutritional supplement program in addition to the vitamin A and the vitamin E and the zinc and the sulfur and the selenium that we just talked about just getting on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Star Pack making sure you're getting your mighty 90 essential nutrients last but not least 
Don't forget your ultimate EFAs. Essential fatty acids are the molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation and under deficiency states or imbalanced EFAs, it's going to be much harder for you to carry a baby, much harder for you to make a baby, much harder for you to carry a baby to, uh, uh, for full term as well. Does that make sense, Kathy? Sure does. Thank you oh, so much. Good deal. Thank you for calling. Appreciate it. All right. So let's see. Get time for one more. Chris in Florida, you get the last word. What's going on, my friend? Hey, Ben. Uh, I'll make it quick. I just want to let you know that I sort of have a testimonial, uh, okay. I guess, among other things. I have, I have a thousand questions for you. I'd love to think it out somewhere. But anyway, uh, long story short, you've been a light in the pod uh, for my life the past couple of years. Which means Thank I've, you. I've, my list of doctors and nurses that have friends uh, have decreased a little bit, uh, but that's okay. Uh, because the truth will always set you free. But I'm, I'm 42 years old. I hey, Chris, to... Chris, I want to hear everything you're yeah, saying, no. but I'm having a hard time. Can you speak up a little bit louder? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Go ahead. Cell phone, so I apologize. But, uh, no worries. But yeah, I just uh, just want to let you know that, uh, you know, again, I just have a slight testimonial. I've uh, been listening to you for a couple of years. Been taking uh, Tangy Tangerine for probably a few years. And um, I got three kids. I'm 42. And I actually work inside hot Florida attics. If you can oh, imagine wow. that one. What do you do? And so, uh, we, you know, I put in a spray foam insulation. I own a okay. foam and coatings business. But anyways, long story short, there can be possibly no worse job than this. <laughs> uh, it is brutally hot, and we, we, we work in a 130-degree air temp. So oh, wow. our whole bodies have, you know, our whole diets have changed. And my, my partner, who's actually 48, he's got an eight-pack, uh, and he drinks about uh, two dozen raw eggs a day. And people always laugh at our diets and such, uh, but we have to basically take the role of fasting, uh, and that's, that's, I've never done anything that's been better for me so far. Mm, that's so I awesome. Breakfast, I skip lunch, and then I just eat dinner at night, and I, I, I'm impounding the tangy tangerine all day. I've gotten over the, you know, 40 years of, you know, improper hunger cravings because of the standard American diet, but, uh, but uh, I've lost maybe 15 pounds. I didn't really have much to lose, but, uh, you know, a little bit around the, uh, around the edge. Um, and, again, it's, it's, I feel so much better than I've ever felt. Love it. Uh, I, I have more energy. I mean, I, I sleep less than my kids who are 10, 11, and 12. Uh, That's awesome. So, again, it, you, your website, you got a thousand of them, but, you know, you and everything you produce and, and spew is unbelievable, number one, that it's free. And number two, it's unreal that you have to kind of hide in the bushes and tell the truth when, when the foghorn of disinformation just keeps pounding everybody in the head. And Thank I've you. got, you know, nurses and such in my family. And anyways, they're, you know, they're steered wrong, as I should say. I love I the of death, but... Chris, I appreciate that. That is awesome. That's an awesome way to end the program. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> no Thanks problem. for taking the time and good luck. Take good luck with everything. Bye. I love hearing those stories. I love success stories. It's so important, you guys. It's one thing when I say things, but when you hear listeners or people who've actually taken this advice on and changed their lives, it's so, so powerful. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. All right. That's all the time we have for today on the Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products and also uh, our truth skin health products at truthtreatments.com. I'm pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.